Hello guys, welcome to the animal comparison. In this video, we will see the fight comparison between the two beasts, the grey wolves and the Serbian tigers. So let's begin. Before result of fight, we should know the few things about these species. First, their appearance. Tigers are the largest member of the wildcat family and famous for their power and strength. Among the six known subspecies of the tiger, the Serbian tiger is the largest of all, the actual tiger king. Their orange base color lighter than rest of the tiger. Their chest and stomachs are white and their neck have thick hair to protect them from the cold climate. On the other hand, grey wolves are the largest member of the dog family. They range in color from grey to black. Their tails are long and heavy and during winter, their fur becomes darker around the neck and the males are generally larger than the females. Now come to their size. The Serbian tigers can grow up to 11 feet in length. Their tails are longer than those of their subspecies, which helps to maintain balance while climbing and jumping. Adult males weigh up to 700 pounds, while females are smaller in size, reaching up to 400 pounds. Whereas, of male grey wolves may be about 6.6 .6 feet long and can weigh up to 143 pounds. Females are 20% smaller than a male and weigh between 60 to 82 pounds. Let's talk about their distribution. The Serbian tiger lives in the eastern Russia cold forest. However, some exist in China and North Korea. They are well modified for the harder northern climate with the lowest human density than any other tiger environment. Northern forests also have the complete ecosystem allowing this tiger to grow. Here, the grey wolves lives in the Arctic Circle and dry landscapes. They also distribute in few areas of Canada and some parts of the United States. A few have also seen in Washington. By the distribution, we could say that it is almost impossible for them to take a fight. Now let's see what they prey. Serbian tiger in the wild prey on large couple and serves the whole meat in one time. Once they make a kill, they drag the prey to their area before they can eat it. They usually feed on wild pigs and mountain deer. On the other hand, the grey wolves feed on prey such as deer, mouse, ships, gods and other small prey such as fish and birds. After killing, they consume about 7 to 20 pounds of them. Now let's see their bit force and speed. Serbian tiger has the greatest bit force in the cat family. Their bit force is often greater than a lion. While hunting, they can reach speed up to 96 km in short rushes. Whereas, wolves also holds a large big force. While hunting, they can run at 10 km per hour for a very long period, which is the major advantage for the wolves. Now conclude that, who would win if these two beasts are in battle? For beginners, the larger and stronger individuals has the upper hand. The Serbian tiger is physically bigger than a wolf. Also, it is more effective in terms of claws, while a grey wolf can hardly use its claws in a fight. For two males on a battle, the Serbian tiger has higher chance of rising to victory. However, the stamina of the grey wolf should not be neglected. Though smaller in size, grey wolf would long last in a battle compared to the tiger. This is because tiger are the trap victim while wolves are the standing hunter. Due to the large biting power of the grey wolves is also an advantage, although before giving a bit the Serbian tiger will be powerful. The Serbian tiger would remain the master as it most fight. It will not be last for one or two minutes. Unless the grey wolves increase on numbers, only then they stand a chance to become a winner. But the Serbian tiger will not go down easily. Finally, we may say that a Serbian tiger will be the hard competitor, but a winner is goes to grey wolves in most of the cases. Hope this video has been informative for you. If you like it, then hit a like and subscribe our channel. Meet you soon in next video. Goodbye.